Hi, I'm Thomas Bowles, Prince William County Agricultural Extension Agent. Welcome to our video. Hello, my name is Pat Lucas. I am one of the Master Gardener Volunteers with Prince William County. And I try to help here at the Teaching Garden and actually here at the monastery that the Teaching Garden is at with some of their composting efforts. So this morning, it's uh, late April. Uh, outside temperatures pretty chilly. It's still in the 40s uh, overnight temperatures. We haven't quite gotten into the growing season yet, but we're certainly starting all of our efforts with the gardens and things. So uh, we're looking at compost, uh, International Compost Week's coming up. So I wanted to take a look at uh, how the piles have been going and give you a quick look back here and see what's going on. So the kitchen is up that path and they do Part, they do participate in composting. Uh, over there by the barns, we have some piles of the, the arborist clippings and things that have uh, they've accumulated over the last year or two in leaves and things. So this is the, the current collection pile. This is where all the fresh scraps are coming out of the kitchen. They're using a biodegradable bag that does compost. Uh, so we'll take a look at see what kind of things are going on here in this pile as it serves more as a collecting area and as we want to get this pile hot we'll eventually add some wood chip and things to this and we'll we're using a geo bin over here these are two geo bins that we had from last summer through the winter they've been out here and we'll eventually sift through this material and get it out into the gardens and, and flower beds um, but as we dive into this pile we'll take a look and see what's going on here uh, even with the cold temperatures that we have going on, we still have a lot of activity. This is a very beautiful collection of red wiggler worms that uh, came into this area and have been in this area for a while. They just move from pile to pile as they keep bringing the materials out. So far, this isn't doesn't smell at all. Um, as we dig a little bit deeper and get down into this, the more moist areas, it has a little bit of a smell. But it's not too bad. These worms are getting in and getting inside these bags. There's a lot of coffee and things in here. So they're able to, to get in here and go to it. Um, we have another video that we just shot. You can actually use red wiggler worms inside your home to do the same process. So as we turn around here, we'll kind of take a look at this finished material. It's been sitting here. So from that pile we just visited, there are some seeds that come through the kitchen into the scraps. Uh, if these piles don't get hot enough, you'll fi we'll find seeds that didn't get decomposed. And when it warms up out here, they will germinate. So it can be cantaloupes, zucchinis, it's hard to tell which kind of seeds these are exactly, but my guess would be those are the common vegetables that we see in the pile over here. It's not really the season for that. More bananas and some other things in here, but as those seeds come in, uh, they will not, unless this pile gets hot enough, they will not, germ they will not, not germinate. So we're finding a few worms in here, not too many. Getting more of the bottom layer here. There's a lot of biology in here. Microbiology happening. Uh, here's a juvenile worm. Here. So a lot of the worms from the, the bin over there hatched out of this. I'm trying to see if we can find a an egg. They might they may not be laying in this material because it's been finished. But you'll you'll see here there's a little bit of trash. There's some of the the green compost bags that haven't quite broken down all the way. Uh, we use wood chip. That's the chips you find on the top here. That's what was mixed in with this fresh material to break down that. So over here, very similar. We have another bin. Ah, here's a good example. So this is something, one of those seeds, the zucchini or a, uh, some sort of a melon. Uh, we could actually take this and plant it. 
In fact, back in the colonial days, they used to compost on their manure and they, to get their starts, uh, they would build a big pile, four feet, five feet, and the heat from that decompo decomposing manure, they would add some topsoil on the top and they created a hotbed. So depending on what this is, we could plant it. Since we have no idea what it is, we're just gonna add it to the new pile over here and let it break down. Um, again, here's another great example. Here's some uh, a mushroom. So we have some fungus activity in here, which is a good sign. Here's another one over here. So we have some fungal presence. Uh, here's another, I, can't, I don't identify what exactly that is. What's deep? broke off. Uh, here's another example of some some pits, some peach pits. These are just some weed seeds that blew in because we didn't have this thing covered. This is the typical kind of thing you'll see after you take this stuff out and put it in your beds or put it in your garden is uh, in that cold process these seeds will germinate uh, and you just knock them down. But this is some good looking material could benefit from being sifted. So the last thing we'll cover real quick is this blue bin did have a, a lid on the top of it here. And this was actually a, a bin that I created at my house and brought it over here. As the weather warms up, we're gonna start seeing black soldier flies. They also love a lot of that material over there. They like coffee. And so they're another beneficial insect that is here in Virginia. This is just a quick look at the, the monastery and what's kind of happening in their compost. Gracious ears. If you enjoyed this video, let us know with your questions, comments, and suggestions for other classes and videos. For more information on lawns and gardens, contact the Extension Horticulture Help Desk. Thank you for watching.